It's been a bit of a weird one this season. So I'm quite next to the woods, which means that wildlife eats everything. And that's something that I wasn't really prepared for when I took on an allotment. Everything is against you. And I think the hardest bit is like keeping it all safe. It's starting to get nice again. So I think it'll be a good season, hopefully, fingers crossed. got into gardening um, I've always been a massive houseplant fan like that's been my thing and um, I ran out of space in my house I had like maybe 200 houseplants and since I've downscaled to about 100 but um, when, when I ran out of space in my house I started moving out into my garden when I ran out of space in my little patio garden I then applied for an allotment here and I think my love from that has just grown quite organically since um, I never had like dreams of owning an allotment or gardening and I didn't think that was something that would take over my life four years ago but here we are. <laughs> so my site is um, an organic allotment site and I use a permaculture method which is um, working with nature as much as possible rather than just choosing plants to go in a pretty spot. So I will make sure that my plants are positioned in the place where they need it and that just helps everything kind of gel together a little bit more. Working with nature um, rather than against it is like how I like to garden and I think as well people on this site are maybe a little bit older and they like to do a bit more of a traditional method like you can see my pot neighbour next door is quite like rows are quite traditional whereas I like grow lots of different vegetables in patches and let everything kind of grow together and that in itself prevents pests and it makes everything a little bit healthier. Really growing food for me is a byproduct of me tending to my little patch of earth. Like I just love being here and looking after this little space and the food that I grow obviously is a great byproduct of that. But it's not my main sole reason for, for having this space. It's great for like mental health and it's just great to be out outside. About two years ago, I started sharing my um, gardening journey on Instagram after my mum passed away because I used to always send her um, pictures of my allotment. I just share a lot of like trials and errors and like things that go wrong. I'm quite honest on my posts. I think that people like resonate with that and um, yeah, quite like it. So last year I did a trial on um, Biocanna using a tomato bed as kind of a, an example and I used some that had Biocanna and some that didn't have Biocanna and I noticed such a massive difference in the ones that I used Biocanna for. Um, my Biocanna bed, like the yield was much better, like I had a greater harvest and I could see, I could see like the soil was a lot better after using the substrate than the soil that I had that was bare so I did notice a difference in like the organic matter that was coming into my soil and obviously that was making a difference to my plants as well. I like gardening because it's quite similar to skateboarding which sounds mental but it is it teaches you like a sense of patience you can't get everything at once like you have to plant the seed and you have to wait for it same with skateboarding is you can't just learn all these tricks straight away. You know, you have to put time and effort and dedication into wanting to see an end result. And I think that's quite similar to gardening. So I think for me, that's why I like gardening, not necessarily because it's different from everything else, almost because it's kind of similar to my other main passion. If you just have everything at once, and what's the fun in that? I'm Danny Gallagher, and I'm Biocanna. <laughs>